Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of Monday theme and in this theme, I'm, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload your homepage slider or how you can have this header image in your site as in our demo site. Well, this is the demo site of our theme Monday where you can find we have a header image on our site but you can also have slider so I'm going to show you how you can do both. So for this login to your WordPress account, then you need to go to appearance and then click on customize. Then you'll find this header setting here, click on it. You can first choose a header type. If you want a full screen slider, slider with many images sliding on your uh, header, then you, you can select full screen slider. Or if you want just an image there, just a static image then you can select that and if you want no header but only menu then you can select that too and here site header types select the header type for all page except front page from here you can also select if you want to show any image on a particular single page then you can choose this image if you don't want to show any header image on any other single pages except front page then you can choose no well i'm going to select yet uh, image for this and first thing i'm going to show you how you can upload sliders so i'm going to select this option that is full screen screen slider and save and publish after you have selected your front page header type and site header type you need to go to as since we are uploading slider so we need to go to header slider from here you need to select a slider category which have slider post with image and text and everything you can also define slider speed from here so here you need to select a slider category and I'm going to show you how you can make this category so go back to your dashboard go to post and then click on categories to add a new category as you can see, I already have a slider category, but making it is really simple. You just have to put a category title and then click on add new category. Let me change it slightly. And then you will have this category. By clicking here, you can add new post. Well, since I have already made a slider category, I'm going to add a post here. I have already one post. So since we ha wanted to slide then of course we need to add some more post just put any title you can put some description and then you need to check the slider uh, sorry category you created for this post then set a feature image let me set a image that we have in our demo site then publish this post now that we have a category and we have two posts in it we need to go back to customize and then select the category we created let me refresh this first Here will show all the categories and here you can see slider you need to select this and click on save after this let's go to our front end and see our home page slider you can find slider here a slider image with title description and everything in this way your home page slider will look like but if you don't want uh, the sort of thing on your home page then you can also have a static image there which you can for this you need to choose this image and click on save and publish after this you need to go to front header image and upload an image here put an image caption and description that's totally up to you if you don't want then you don't have to then click on save after this let's refresh our front end and see how will it appear now it will appear as such like static image so it looks quite kind of professional and the third option that you get is you can also not show these image or anything and only menu so let's select the third option and let's see how will this show well this this will show no slider or header image but only a menu and the relative 
sections. So in this way, you, need, you can upload slider or any static image or no image. Well, for inner pages header uh, image, you can upload any image from here. It's for an inner page, like a single page, when you click on any post, you will go to a single page, then you will have a header image. I'm going to select one and then click on save and publish. Now let's refresh this page, front page. And let us go to a single page. Here you'll find a header image just below the header menu and your single page as such. The next thing that you can do from header setting is you can also do primary header menu settings, which I'm going to show you in my next video about menus. So these are the things that you can do with header, header settings. And if you have any confusion, Always check our documentation properly. It has got every step wise direction uh, instructions. So thank you very much.